So I'm standing here with Nick Cook, CEO and founder of Dynamics. And today we, we've been talking about the role of the defense industry in potentially fighting uh, climate change. There's a lot of specialized knowledge and, and competence within the defense industry. How do you think we best channel this for, for use uh, in fighting the environmental changes that we see around us? Well, we started talking about this about five or six years ago with defense companies. My roots and background are in defense journalism, so I knew a lot of these companies very well. And it seemed crazy to me that all of these companies had fantastic knowledge great technology and understanding of the environment, but they weren't using it. So we started talking to them individually and we found out that some companies, like Saab for example in Sweden, they had little programs that were investigating how they could use these technologies to, to start channeling towards global challenges. Um, what we felt was necessary was a forum to get them all together. Because one of the things that the defense industry does is actually it collaborates as well as it competes. So we thought, we thought if we can get all of these guys together, we can start getting government input together, then maybe we can start to use the collective knowledge of the industry to start solving these global problems um, internationally. You're here today at, at Gotland in Sweden. What role do you see for Sweden in all this? I think that Sweden, in fact we came here knowing and believing that Sweden could have a a very big role here, punching way above its weight on the world stage. Why? Because if you, I think if you look at Sweden's past, you see that you have a great history of, of, of peacekeeping, non-alignment, you have a great technology base, you have an environmental awareness, you're known for all of these things around the world, but I don't think at the moment you're being seen in a role that could transition all of this and the defense industry's capabilities onto a world stage. I think that if the Swedish government could get behind this, um, you've already got a sort of industrial champion in the shape of Saab, you could put all of these things together and set an example to all of those other countries to do the same thing. So I think there's a profound role for Sweden, the government, your industry, to get this um, initiative really, really moving. Thank you. Pleasure.